Welcome back to Data Shark Academy. Let's talk about closed couple systems and decoupling of such systems. Okay. Decoupling is very important concept from a design perspective and you will understand why after this lecture. Okay. Let's take an example to understand this. Say you have two applications, application A and application D. Okay. Both these applications are communicating with each other and they are sending data or instructions to one another and they're working very closely in terms of sending the instruction and then waiting for the response and then sending another request and waiting for the response okay so the process is actually coming to a halt for some milliseconds before the request response is received by the application okay so this kind of system is called closed coupled applications now since you have only two applications it's easy to manage you can deal with this kind of architecture but what if you have something like this where you have multiple applications talking to each other and just waiting for the responses okay you will see this kind of architecture in many traditional applications okay where one system is sending a request to another system then waiting for the response in the meantime there is another system which came in and sent another request and it's also waiting for the response so now there are two systems which are waiting for the response and only one system which is doing all the process so the system which is doing the process will respond to the first system and then to the second system so in this process the second system has to wait until the first system's request is processed successfully okay this kind of architecture is very complex and hard to manage and these systems are slow in nature and they are called closed coupled applications okay and we don't want that kind of architecture okay so what is the alternative the alternative is to decouple these systems meaning that put something in middle that will take care of all the communications and these applications are not directly talking to each other this is the kind of architecture that apache kafka provides where you have on the left hand side producers and on the right hand side you have consumers okay and producers and consumers are not directly talking to each other they both are talking to the kafka and kafka is managing the transmission of data and requests between both the systems so this is what decoupling of systems is and it removes the bottleneck from your entire architecture and this is one of the examples of good designs Okay, so keep this in mind while you are designing your applications, whether it's Kafka or not, but try to make your entire application as decoupled as possible. Okay, I'll see you in the next class.